Mr. Speaker, yesterday many parliamentarians and Tibetans from across Canada gathered around Parliament Hill to mark the 56th anniversary of the uprising of the Tibetan people against the Chinese Communist invaders and the occupation of their country. During this gathering, we were reminded that in Tibet today, the very basic human rights of Tibetan people are being violated by Chinese Communist government. I am sad to say that this past Thursday, a 47-year-old wife and mother of three living in the Tibetan county in western China, Sichuan province, burned herself to death in protest against communist policies in Tibetan areas. She is the 137th known case of self-immolation by Tibetans since the fiery protests began in 2009. These deaths are a grim reminder of the struggle of the Tibetan people against the Chinese communist government and the ongoing fight for human rights in the world. Mr. Speaker, Canada will always remain committed to standing up for human rights and freedoms. Canada stands for Tibet.